1991, I had a problem with my, uh, my existing case. And um, basically, I was at a pool tournament and the case got knocked off the table and the queue broke. And I was really sad because it was a very expensive queue for me. It was $1,400. And um, I'd saved for many months to buy it. So I was, I was really unhappy when I had to be without it for many months waiting for it to be repaired. So I thought, well, you know what? I should rebuild that case and I should make it more protective. Um, so I did, I put padding in the tubes and I made it where the cue would go inside and it would stay inside. And basically that's how Instro cases got born. Um, I made a case for myself, I rebuilt that one. Then I thought, well, I should just make one that I like. So I did, and I made one for a friend and it just grew from there. And eventually it became uh, Instro Q cases. And so that's how we, um, that's how we got started. And I, I ran that company until 2003 and then I sold it. Then I took a break from case making for four years and I started again in 2007. And in 2007 I just started making one of a kind cases, just experimenting, playing around. And now, you know, I'm at the point where we can make one of a kind cases, um, we make high end leather cases, we make mass production cases, we make prototypes. So basically that's the, uh, that's the history of, my, of me and case making. So people ask me, they say, why are you so fanatical about Q protection? You know, what is it? Isn't a case just a case? Well, let me show you. This is, this is a Q here um, that I just got. And um, this is a thousand dollar Q right here. It's got purple heart here. It's got inlaid diamonds all in the, in the rings. You know, it's got complicated inlays here. I mean, this is a beautiful piece of art right here. And the way I feel about it is, someone invests in this, this is the thing they want to protect. And everywhere in the world, you know, whatever you, whenever you find high-end gear, it's always in padded cases and always well protected. So that's what the case is for. When I buy this, I don't want to see it damaged while it's in the case. So that's what, that's what JB Cases is all about. That's what I'm all about. Q protection. What I'm really saying is, is that when the cue is inside the case, there should be no harm coming to it. The pieces should not move, they shouldn't, they shouldn't touch each other, they shouldn't bang against each other. So here, for example, if I take this case and I shake it, you don't hear anything. The cues don't touch each other, they don't fall out. See, now again, this is a thousand dollar cue right here that I just turned over. And you'll notice nothing falls out. Now. Another thing that we've done on this case is we put everything together in here so that when you put everything in, you can push it all down, but if you need to get it easily, you just shake it and it pops up, so a little spring effect inside. And the reason we do that is so that everything is easy to get to, it's very efficient inside, so you can get two butts and three shafts in this size but everything is perfectly protected all the time. So that's the interior of the, uh, of the Fury case made by JB Cases. It's, it's what we designed in here. Even with a rubber grip, it's no problem. So you can put it in either direction and you can easily pull it out, no problem. That's even with the Fury's cork grip. So, basically, this is designed in here to protect your cue no matter what. So when I talk about protection, this is what I mean. This is a beautiful leather cue case right here. It's very expensive, um, but it doesn't protect the cues like I think it should. For example, um, it lets the cues rattle. Listen to this. That's the cues inside. When I turn it over, this is what happens. So you can see that all the parts fall out. Now, with our protection, we build padding into the case so that no matter what, nothing's going to happen to the cues. They don't fall out. They don't come out. They stay in place. But yet, if you want to take them out, it's just this easy. This has a spring system inside. It's called organic rebound. 
where all you have to do is just go like that and the cues raise up and they're easy to get out. So you can see here we can easily get the parts out and yet nothing rattles inside and nothing gets hurt. Again, there's our thousand dollar cue right there. That's the, the uh, new Purple Heart cue from Fury. So I'm not sure if you can really see inside of here, but I'll bring this a little bit closer. This is all padded inside of here. Every part is separated from every other part by a generous layer of padding. So that's the interior of our cases. And um, no matter whether the case is, uh, is a relatively inexpensive one like this, or it's one of our, uh, our more expensive leather cases back here, they all get the same treatment. Every, every Q case that we make has the same amount of protection for the cues. Thank you. So, one of the major complaints that we hear about cases is, is that they're too heavy. So one of the things that we've done for Fury is we've made a lighter weight case. And the way we've done that is we've, we've gone back to the manufacturer of the tubes and we've created a lighter tube, but it still is strong and still will protect the cues against impact. Um, for example, this case here is a leather case and um, it's made in a popular style and you can see here, the weight on this case is going to be about six pounds. And by contrast, the weight on the Fury 3x4, by the way, this case also holds, this case holds one extra cube, is three pounds. Now, another thing that we do to make the cases feel lighter is we also use a generous strap pad here that's non-slip. Now what that means is, is that when you wear it on your shoulder, it means that the case does not, uh, doesn't slip, and so it feels better. Also the strap doesn't slip, so when, it feel, when, it's wear, when you wear it on your shoulder, it stays in place, and you don't have to constantly move it and adjust it. So as you're walking, the case will just sit there nice and comfortably, and it won't feel very heavy on your shoulder. So those two things right there make the case, first of all, physically a lot lighter and also ergonomically a lot friendlier to carry. So the next thing about cue cases that I find that's really important is also all the stress points. Um, one thing that really just bothers me is when you have a case and the handle breaks or the strap breaks or some you have some problem. So here I have a case that looks pretty cool. Um, it's kind of cool, but I can tell you right now, I'm going to show you this case, I can easily break it because they made it the wrong way. So as you can see, I can pull this out and you see how easily those rivets pulled out because they didn't, they didn't pay attention to how they should build this case so that it will last a long time at this stress point. And that's not even full of cues, you know, and then here I have another one. This is from a different maker right here. And you can see here the handle's already pulled out right there. And uh, I could easily just do the same thing again and pull the handle off just like that. So you see? See how easily that came off? Now, you take our cases and we reinforce everything here. You can see here we've got leather and nylon that reinforce every stress point on here. So you can sit there and pull on these cases and you're not going to get them to tear off. So you'll see here, I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same thing that I just did and try hard to tear this off. So I hope that's clear to everyone that even with that type of stress, it's not coming off. So we make comfortable handles and strong points at all the stress points so you don't have to worry about it. Everywhere there's a stress point, we reinforce it with leather and nylon so that it's going to stay good for a long time. Okay? We want you to change your case. I want you to change your case because you're tired of it, not because it falls apart. So I'd like to talk for a moment about the, uh, the overall quality of the case, the design, um, a lot of things that make us different than other case makers. Where other case makers, they do things that are really easy to do, we do things that are hard to do because we want to give you something unique and we want to give you something that, that is not easy to find. Um, 
So for example, you know our cases here are all made with a French stitch on the back. Um, for the design, we, uh, we do inlays here. These are hand cut inlays, hand uh, implemented, each one filled up. You can't, you can't even do this with a computer. Okay, so, so we do that by hand. Um, you know, we, we do things like we, we cut a, a little slot here, a slant, different things to, uh, to enhance the design. Uh, here, for example, the same thing. We have a, an inlay here. We put another one on the back. We do all the, the, the designs and the stress points, like here, for example, is a very comfortable and uh, an easy to use handle um, that's also very strong. So you can see that all of our design points are made not only to look good, but also to function well. Uh, here, for example, you have access to the pockets. So in here you can get access from both sides easily, as well as coming all the way around and down for easy access to the whole thing inside. So that's, uh, and you have double zippers. We also do design things like we use key zippers on here. We, we go and we find the best, don't know if you can really see this, but we go and we find the very best that we can for, for all of our zipper parts, all of our quality. Um, we don't use cheap parts, we don't use cheap quality. All of our metal parts and everything are tested for strength, so you don't have to worry about them coming off. And that's all a part of good design. Um, it doesn't matter what the material is, whether it's leather or vinyl or, uh, or whatever, or canvas. Um, it's how you use the materials. It's how well you put the cases together. So, for example, you've got a case here, you know, well, that maybe, maybe some people think that looks good, but what good is it when it breaks on you? You know, when they don't design it properly, you know, they, they don't do things like worry about all the stress points and all the things like this can come out easily and break. So, um, you know, we just go, we go the extra mile. We, we, we go to longer distances, we, we do harder things to make the cases great. And that means that when you get it, you're not only going to feel like that you have a great case, you're actually going to have a great case. You know, we're not trying to fool you with looks, we're giving you the good looks, which is designed, you know, in this case, for example, they're all designed by Fury. Um, you know, we started, we, we gave them a design to start out with and then they took it and, uh, and they came up with this, this look here. But when it comes to our shop, we give it the extra mile and we go the extra distance to do all the little things that keep it functioning as a good case. It's just like buying a, a genuine LV purse or, or, a, or a Mercedes Benz, um, Jaguar, whatever you want. You pick any luxury brand you want. The reason that they're luxury brands is because they're all very good. So that's the Fury case and, uh, and that's what we make. A lot of times people ask me, is leather better than vinyl? What they mean is, is when they see a vinyl case for say $100, $150, they say to themselves, oh, well look, I can go get a leather case for $100, $150 too. I should just buy that because it's better. But that's not always true. It doesn't really matter what the material is. It matters how well it's done. Uh, for example, I have here an LV bag. This is a genuine uh, Louis Vuitton uh, tote bag. And if you were to really take a look at this bag here, this is, first of all, it's not leather, okay? This is vinyl over canvas. And the way, that it, the way that it works is everything here, every stitch, every part of this bag is perfectly done, okay? The quality on this bag is 100%. Every stitch, every part of this bag is strong, it's well done, and it looks great. So, I mean, whether you, whether you personally like this bag or not, it, everything fits exactly as it should. Every logo placement, every part of the bag is exactly where it should be. So that's an example of outstanding quality and it of course it extends to the inside as well. So every stitch, every part of the bag is exactly where it should be. Um, therefore it doesn't really matter whether this bag is made of leather or vinyl or canvas or not. The expense comes in the care that was taken to make it. And what we do here is we use poly, 
urethane um, vinyl, which is the same thing that you're gonna find on shoes, um, in car seats, in high-end briefcases. Um, this is very tough stuff. It's called upholstery grade vinyl, which means that you can use it on furniture and shoes, as I said. And, and again, as I said, it's very, very tough, but it doesn't matter. The point of it is, is that when we work it, we work it perfectly. So everything is placed exactly as it should. And the end result is, is that you end up with a beautiful case that's just about indistinguishable from leather. You can't tell the difference, but, uh, but it's perfect. And it's lightweight and it's inexpensive. So there you go. About how we go from from here um, to this, you know, like like what what is similar between this case and this case? Okay, this is the new case that we're doing for Fury, um, the Fury Classic series, and uh, and this is a case that's a very traditional style that we have uh, we've taken and we've made it into a better case or a better style than. than that's ever been done before. But the thing that connects these two cases is basically innovation in design. Um, it's being willing to, to, to go a little bit farther and do a little bit more to, uh, to make it better. I mean, we could, have, we could have taken this case here and we could have stayed with the old way of doing it, but instead we decided to make it sleeker here with a better, more comfortable handle. Um, we decided to engineer the back piece here and this part here so it matches the whole case uh, for the pocket. Um, we invented a magnetic puzzle latch right here so that the latch comes over and it's very easy to use um, with no problem and it stays in place. And we have, uh, we have extra padding inside as we told you before. So the whole point of this is, is that all of these cases we just never stop thinking about it. We never stop thinking about what can we do to make something cooler, nicer, interesting for the customer. Um, you know, here for example, we have different shaped pockets. You know, we just make the pockets any shape we want here. Still easy to get into, magnetic chalk holder. Again, with the magnetic lid on top. So, you'll see here that, that you know, what we're doing is, at JB Cases, is we really try to push the, uh, push the boundary of design for Q Cases as far out as we can go. And, uh, and that's why that when we are chosen to do something like the Fury Case, we apply all of our knowledge, everything that we've learned about case making, into this case. So you don't have to spend $1,000 to get a good case. You know, you can spend 100, 150, or whatever this case cost here. You can spend that much and get a great case. Um, because just every, every little thing we do just pushes it out. And my goal is to be able to, to have a shop that provides this level of case or this level of case for this price and you feel good about it. You feel just as good buying this case and using this case as you would if you bought a thousand dollar case. The only difference between these two is more decoration here. So that's uh, that's all I really wanted to say and you know I really wanted everybody out there that, that's listening to this, uh, I really want to thank you for trying our cases and, and having faith in us. Uh, you know we're just going to keep on doing what we do. I'm not, I'm not putting these cases out there uh, so that I can I can get rich and be a multi-millionaire. If that happens, great. But the main thing I want to do is I want to give you a case that I would use myself, that I would use to protect my cue, and and uh, and I would take it. I would take my cue, thousand dollar cue. Okay, it's my new thousand dollar cue right here, and this is what I would do with it. Okay, I would take it and throw it across the room and not worry about it because of the protection that I build into the cases and all the design that we do. And that is why that I think that you should give these cases a chance and really look at them, really compare them against the competition. Okay, 
That way you can see what we really do and you can see why it's important to use one of our cases over the competition. Thank you.